Flex Core Welding uses less gear because you don't need a gas tank, making it a go-to option for a multitude of repairs. Here's what you'll need to get started. First, you'll need a welding apron or jacket, and welding gloves to protect your skin. Use a Pro Welding Respirator when welding flux core, and protect your eyes with an auto-darkening helmet. Put safety glasses on before you begin preparing your base metal. First, use a grinder with a flat disc attachment to bevel the edges of your base metal. This will help ensure complete fusion of the two parts, especially when welding a butt joint. Next, clean the base metal using the grinder with a wire brush attachment. A clean surface is necessary to avoid contaminating the weld pool, so remove any dirt, grime, or grease from the piece. Next, with the power off, load the flex core spool 0.03 inch wire into the welder. Securely holding the wire, clip the end to remove any excess or bent wire. Insert wire through the assembly into the gun hose. and pull the trigger to advance the wire. Then cut the wire so that you have a 3 4 inch stick out. With the power on, set the correct voltage, amperage, and wire feed speed for your project. Reference your welder's user manual to determine the proper settings. And be sure to attach the ground clamp to a clean steel work surface or base metal so that the metal enclosure of the welding machine and the ground are at the same potential. Your welder will not produce an arc without it. Make sure your helmet is pulled down, covering your face. To keep your base metal from moving, start by tacking it together. Smooth the tack with a wire brush. To begin flex core welding, hold the gun about 1 16th to 1 8th inch away from your base metal, at an angle between 75 to 90 degrees. Then, in a slow and controlled manner, move the gun in a slight U, figure 8, or cursive E shape always pushing away from the weld puddle. Your welding bead should resemble a stack of dimes with nice, consistent strokes and no air bubbles. The weld cures in just a few seconds. Use gloves to handle until the metal has cooled. Flux core welding produces a slag that is not visually attractive. To remove the excess material, use a wire brush or grinder with wire brush attachment to clean up your weld. With the right techniques and practice, you'll be making clean, strong welds like a pro in no time. Good luck, and thanks for shopping at the Home Depot.